are now at DEFCON 2. What the devil is going on, Lieutenant? He surfaced, Mr. President. I'm sure you all recognize this man. We know him only as Yuri, fugitive advisor to Soviet Premier Romanov. While we were busy fighting the Soviets, Yuri was using his mind control technology to establish a secret army of his own. A group of Yuri's initiates have taken Alcatraz Island here in San Francisco. They've constructed some sort of device there. What kind of device? Perhaps I can explain, Mr. President. Yuri. The device is called a Psychic Dominator. There is a network of such devices spread across the globe. More of your mind control tricks? No tricks, Mr. President. In a few moments, I will unleash a tidal wave of psychic energy designed to dominate the minds of an entire planet. There will be no more free will, only my will. Yuri, Yuri, Yuri. The war's over. Can't we all just get along? What if I was to give you a full presidential pardon? Your country needs a leader. It could be you. Why should I be content to lead one nation if I can control the whole world, Mr. President? You can't threaten us. We're the most powerful nation on Earth. We did win the war, you know. Did you? Indeed. I say not. Mr. President, something's happening. The device is beginning to deploy. Call in an airstrike. I want that tower taken out. Command, this is Mojo One. We are on station. Roger, Mojo One. Target is located on Alcatraz Island, Vector 270, at 10 miles. Target acquired. Engage, engage. Francisco, the psychic dominator on Alcatraz will not function. Most unfortunate. But we have other devices. I think time has come to activate them. really going to do it. May God help us all. We will bury them. Comrade General, it is pleasant to see you again, even under these circumstances. The traitor Yuri has activated two of his psychic dominator devices. Cities around the world are falling under his power. However, we have discovered a plan by the Americans to alter the events of the past few hours. Stand by, comrade. I'm receiving an encrypted message from a secured wavelength. It's good to see loyal face, comrade general. However, there is little time. Allies are creating new technology for traveling backward in time. The Americans plan to use this machine to go back early in war. There, they will destroy your psychic dominator devices before they can be completed. Comrade General, if you can capture this American time machine, we might have opportunity to change history and assure Soviet victory. 
fate of Soviet Union, of entire world rests in your hands. Oh, I must go. Comrade Sophia has a recorded message to give this to my best self. The Asvadanya Comrade General. So, comrade, I am understanding you come from dark and terrible future. According to report I received from your communications officer, allies will win war by using sneaky device called Chronosphere to invade Moscow. You must go to Germany. Destroy this uh, Einstein's laboratory before he can invent this chronosphere device. Allies will give up their foolish resistance and join our glorious Soviet cause. Then together, we take care of traitor Yuri. Have you seen State News magazine? War is over, comrade general. The Allies have surrendered. Now they fight with us against the traitor Yuri. All of Soviet people are full of gratefulness to you. Nazdrovinya! Our special intelligence operatives report another psychic dominator device being constructed in London. Our Premier wants us to destroy it before Yuri can react. Comrade General, I have very bad news. Premier Romanov's plane was shot down while returning to Moscow. The aircraft went down over Morocco. We believe that the Premier is alive and hiding somewhere in the city. Ah, my good friend! I am back where I belong, sound and safe. The traitor Yuri is building fleet of boomer submarines. These can launch missiles at any city of his choosing. Zofia will tell you more. You must be careful, comrade. Congratulations, you comrade general. More surprises planned. Or should I say? <laughs> well done, comrade general. We have analyzed flight plan of this rocket ship. It is programmed to fly to the moon. We must find out why. You have cosmonaut training, yes? The liftoff was without complications, Comrade General. You'll achieve lunar orbit in moments. Your retro rockets should fire automatically to allow for a smooth landing. Take care, my General. You have many reasons to return safely, no? Retro rockets will fire in three, two, one. Your spacecraft has landed, Comrade General. Finally, Soviets have reached the moon. One baby step for Comrade General, one giant leap for Soviet people, yes? <laughs> The castle has been taken, my general. I knew you would be victorious. Comrade General, we are picking up an energy buildup beneath the castle. The signature wave is consistent with distortion wave of the time machine. I found your little device in San Francisco. Repairing it was a simple matter. It is too late, comrade. The entire world and all of its history is mine to command and conquer. We still have the time machine's command codes, Comrade General. I have overridden the controls and released all of the energy reserves. If you remember, we ourselves experienced some difficulty when too much energy was channeled into the machine. The machine's energy reserves have been depleted. Yuri cannot use the machine without additional power. He will be trapped in time. What is that? Who is there? Thanks to the time.
time travelers, the traitor Yuri has been defeated. And Soviet troops parading down Wall Street as the stock market closed for forever. New golden age of space exploration, thanks to Premier Romanov and his bold new program. He knows what the future may hold as communism leaves the boundaries of our planet and expands across the solar system.